Welcome to the Draeger AeroTest Alpha instructional video. I'm Ed Ligus, the U.S. Product Manager for the AeroTest. The Draeger AeroTest Alpha is designed for low pressure applications in the 43.5 to 290 psi range, testing directly from a plant airline, low pressure compressor, or mobile air cart. I'll be guiding you through the assembly and testing step by step. Using the air test is an effective way to check if your breathing air is safe and uncontaminated. It is quick and convenient, providing results in a matter of minutes. Please read the instruction manual and the instructions for use for each tube and the oil impactor before using the aero test. And check the back of the package of tubes to ensure the tubes are within the shelf life. When you open the kit, you'll see the measuring device with the tube holders, a low pressure reducer, timer, a package of oil impactors, the adapter for the impactor, tube opener, the tubes for carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and water vapor, a bubble test hose, and the instruction manual for the kit. The kit also includes a Parker Rectus Series 21 coupler and a Series 96 plug. The Parker Rectus coupler attaches to the plug on the inlet of the AeroTest regulator and is the key connection point to the air supply. The male thread on the coupler is a British BSPP one quarter, therefore an adapter consisting of a female one quarter BSPP on one end to a male one quarter NPT is necessary to connect directly to a one quarter NPT plug. This adapter is not included. Today we are connecting to a Hansen plug Plug the assembly into the air supply. Connect the measuring device. Now open the air to the aero test. Check the reading on the pressure gauge. If it's not reading three bar, pull out the black hand wheel and turn it to set the pressure to three bar. Since the pressure reducer is not self-compensating, the gauge must be checked for each application to ensure the outlet pressure to the measuring device is set properly. Allow the air test to flush for two to three minutes before starting the measurements. Periodically between uses, you'll do a bubble test, which checks the flow. Connect the hose to each tube holder, placing the other end of the hose in a container of water. The carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide will have a rapid bubble rate, whereas the oil and water vapor will have a much higher bubble rate. If the bubble rate is slow, do not use the aero test and send it to the Draeger service depot. Now we can start the pre-assembly of the impactor and the tubes. Attach an oil impactor to the impactor adapter. Insert the adapter into the bottom of the holder designated for oil. Leave the top part disconnected for now. Draeger replaced the oil tube with the oil impactor some years ago because the impactor displays mineral oils and synthetic oils independent of the oil type or viscosity. Select one of the carbon dioxide tubes from the case. Score and snap off the tips using the tube opener. The arrow on the tube indicates the direction of airflow. Insert the tube into the bottom of the correct holder, leaving the top part disconnected for now. Do the same thing for the carbon monoxide tube. Finally, take one of the water vapor tubes but in this case, we will only remove the tip from the outlet end of the tube, which is the end the arrow points towards. This tube is extremely sensitive to ambient humidity, so we won't remove the other tip until we're ready to start the test. Insert the tube into the holder, leaving the top part disconnected. Start a five minute timer and immediately connect the oil impactor and the tubes, except the water vapor, to the inlet of the holder. Then use the tube opener to remove the tip from the water vapor tube and connect to the inlet of the holder. The oil, carbon dioxide, and carbon monoxide tests are complete in 5 minutes and the water vapor in 10 minutes. When the timer sounds, immediately reset it to 5 minutes, then remove and evaluate the oil impactor, carbon dioxide, and carbon monoxide tubes while the test continues for water vapor. Start with the carbon dioxide tube. Using an indelible marker, mark the endpoint of the bluish violet discoloration. Always read the total length of the slightest discoloration on a detector tube. In this case, the discoloration reached 300 ppm. There are instructions for reading the results inside the package of each tube. Next, check the carbon monoxide tube. There is no visible discoloration on the indication layer of this tube. 
A positive indication for carbon monoxide would result in a light brownish discoloration with a light green front. Press down on the black ring of the adapter to release the impactor. Remove the tear-off cover with the Draeger logo to expose the indication surface. Compare the pattern on the impactor with the three reference standards in the IFU. The images are at 0 0.1, 0 0.5, and 1.0 milligrams of oil per cubic meter. Here we can see no visible pattern, indicating the oil is below the detection limit of the oil impactor. When the second alarm goes off, remove the water vapor tube and immediately evaluate the reddish-brown discoloration on the tube. Compressed breathing air requires the use of a 10-minute test with acceptable results between 20 and 250 milligrams of water per cubic meter. This tube shows a discoloration of 35 milligrams of water per cubic meter. The oxygen content of the air can also be measured with the aero test using a T-piece, the oxygen 5% C-tube, and the Draeger Acuro. Connect the T-piece to the H2O holder. Check the arrow on the tube, which will need to be pointed away from the T-piece when a measurement is taken. Remove the tips of the oxygen tube. Immediately connect the tube and the Acuro and take a reading by completely compressing the pump. Exercise caution as the oxygen tube will become quite hot. At the end of the stroke cycle, read the tube immediately. Oxygen reads to the midpoint of the change in the discoloration. We will be using the Acuro scale. This reading is 19.8 volume percent oxygen. Once the tests are complete, you can turn off the air cylinder valve. When the pressure bleeds down to zero, disconnect the measuring device and remove each part, storing them back in the case until next use. The CGA standard specifies oxygen to be 19.5 to 23.5 volume percent carbon monoxide less than or equal to 10 ppm, carbon dioxide less than or equal to 1000 ppm, condensed oil less than or equal to 5 milligrams per cubic meter, and water content less than or equal to 54 milligrams per cubic meter for OSHA breathing air. Other standards vary slightly. If the measurement results exceed the standards or established internal limits, please consult your supervisor. This may be an indication the air compressor requires maintenance. If you have any questions about the Draeger Aero Test Alpha, contact the Draeger Technical Support Team. Thank you.